What's up? Red Nation Blogger with another video. Um, it's time for a tough conversation. It's time for a tough video. This is something that I've been trying to give this player leeway. I've been trying to give this player the benefit of the doubt and let him work through everything that's been going on. But we have to talk about it. Year two, Jalen Green. I'm on the uh, basketball reference site right now, grabbing the remote. Sorry about that. And I'm looking at Jalen Green's year two numbers, 22 points per game. I said he would be there. But what I did say was he would be more efficient from three at 37 to 38%. And I said, I think he would be around 44 to like 45% from the field. I was wrong on both accounts. He's at 41% from the field and he's shooting 33% from three. His last 20 games, he has 13 games where he shoots below 40%. 13 games below 40% shooting from the field. One for seven from three. One for seven from three. Two for seven from three. O of five from three. O of seven for three. And that's one, two, three, four, five games straight of shooting like that from three point land. Then it gets better, two for three, three for six, and then we're right back on track. One for seven from three, one from six from three, O of six from three. He should be better than this, efficient-wise. Like I said, 22 points per game, I hit the nail right on the head. I felt like he would get there. I just felt like just on sheer volume, he would get there. But I thought the efficiency would be better. Obviously, he's not, I don't believe that he's put into the best positions to succeed with this coaching staff, with this offense, and the way that the offense is structured. I feel like we have a shooting guard running the point guard position. I feel like we got a shooting guard that is that we're expecting to give Jalen Green the ball in spots where he's comfortable. And this reminds me a lot of Zach Levine when he was in Chicago, but before they got DeMar DeRozan, before they got uh, Alex Caruso, before they got Lonzo Ball, before they got Vucevic, where Zach Levine was just there and he was playing with a lot of other young pieces and nothing was really meshing. This reminds me a lot of Devin Booker before they got Chris Paul and before the second year when DeAndre Ayton had got suspended for 25 games where there was really no structure. Devin Booker was just out there getting it out the mud. Jalen Green is getting his offense out the mud right now. There's nothing easy for him. And I don't want to make it seem like, oh, everything is just him having to isolate and get his own shot because there are times where he has wide open threes. There was a, there was a play today, actually. He had a wide open three earlier in the game. He hit the side of the backboard. So obviously a little bit of this is on Jalen Green and a little bit of this is on the coaching staff as well as some of the personnel and what they're surrounding Jalen Green with. But overall, I like in the NBA, I like to put more of the onus on the players more so than the coaching. So I'm going to put a lot of this on Jalen Green. He should be better than what he is. I expected it. I put the expectations on him, obviously, so I want him to do well. But my expectations came from how he looked to close out year one, coming into the offseason, coming into training camp, how he looked in the in the, uh, in, in, in the preseason, and then coming into the regular season. He started off the regular season playing really well, in my opinion, versus Memphis. 13 of 21, he had uh, 33 points um, versus Utah, 9 of 16, he had 25 points. But for all accounts, I'm looking right now, Jalen Green has been struggling pretty much this whole season. I'm only going to, like I said, I'm only going to do the last 20 games. But as I look at his box score, even before like the first 19 games, I believe, like he was struggling. 4 of 15 games, 2 of 10, 5 of 15 4 of 17, 4 of 19, 6 of 20, 6 of 19. Like, he has had games mostly this season where he struggled. And I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. Tonight, 4 of 15, 1 of 6 from 3, 9 points. Folks, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with Jalen Green. Maybe he's going through something. Maybe he's dealing with an injury. But... What we're seeing right now, this product, he's taking a step back. Defensively, he's not as good as he should be. Offensively, if he's not getting to the line and if his three ball is not falling, he's struggling. 
He's struggling all, all night. There's no, and there, and like I said, there's nobody to get him an easy shot. There's nobody to get him an easy look. And even when he has easy looks, he's not making it. He's not cashing in. We got to talk about it. You know, we I, I get on here. I hold Kevin Porter Jr. accountable. I talk about Steven Silas. I talk about Sengun when it's necessary. Jabari Smith when it's necessary. We got to talk about Jalen Green. That's all I have for tonight. Um, just wanted to show some, some type of accountability to Jalen Green. Wanted to show the fan base that I can't be even killed. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, man. Let me know how you feel. Let me know what you think. I'm all ears. Uh, and if you have any suggestions or if you think, if you have any inside information, if you know what's going on with them, as always, thank you for watching. If you are not already, please subscribe. Red Nation Blogger out.